whether we're people watching, whether we're just sitting in a public space, whether it's a coffee shop. We're gonna run out in the rain though. I can't even change clothes without her. Like she's gonna be right there. She really acts like she allowed that. You're not allowed that. You're not allowed that. Like you know this. I talked to her about, you know, how her day was. How you feel? How you feeling? What be on your mind? What you be on your mind, girl? She might not understand the words, but she understands the body language and the energy from what I'm saying and how I'm saying it. And, you know, she just shocks people scared of her. Good job. Good job. When somebody called me and said they had two female pit bulls that they weren't able to sell. So I rushed out there before anything happened, just in case she couldn't find a home. She was such a sweet little puppy. She just sat right beside me. And I was like, I think this is going to work out. I had a senior dog at the time. His name was King. He's not the friendliest dog. I called him Mr. Grumpy. Once she got home and saw King, he was first trying to play with him and just befriended him within the first four or five hours. And then one day when I saw him looking for her when he woke up, I kind of knew that was like the first time they were becoming friends because she would always look for him, but not always the other way around. They played tug of war a lot. He didn't really put that much of a fight, but she still had fun and she would adjust her strength to like fit his need. She kind of kept him young until he passed. And then she just wasn't herself. Gigi had to adjust her emotions and grow up a lot faster than she wanted to because she lost like the only other dog that she knew. And I tried to take her to win a dog park and it didn't work out that way. Everybody was leaving, was scared of her. So then I went to different places, different open parks, not dog parks. We would sit there just peacefully watch people walk by and that became like our thing. Noodles is our neighbor, and we always saw Noodles walk by. And eventually, Noodles' mom was like, hey, is it okay if they have a play date? It was just like, now we can play. Let's just make each other chase each other. And then they played tug of war for like the longest time. And then her confidence has skyrocketed. Oh, excuse me for waking you up from your nap. People have these crazy stereotypes. That they're aggressive, they're dangerous. And now people are coming to find out of how affectionate she is, how sweet she is. Her personality is my favorite thing. She knows like no matter what we're doing, I'm just right there. What we both did was help each other's confidence a whole bunch.